The next category is called bristle brushes and they are trying to simulate traditional media brushes. So if you go in there, you will find this one as a default one already coming up. You just have to pick a color, a stroke color for it, maybe something like that. And uh, choose the brush tool, of course, paint brush tool. And immediately I can see a preview, which shows me that this type of brush can actually pick up not just the strength, how I use the tablet, but also the angle in which I hold the pen over the tablet. Once again, these are things that you won't be able to use if you are working with a mouse. You will need to have a, a tablet, a drawing tablet. So why is this useful? Well, depending on the angle I hold it, I will always get a different profile. So if I draw it in another way, you can see it is much less thicker because of the angle I held my pen. These type of brushes are quite nice and soft. That's what I like in them. So this is probably the least vector looking brush category. It's more like watercolor or oil. And definitely when you start adding it up and there's more of them layer on layer, it starts to look even more convincing that it wasn't made of vectors. The only problem with them is that if you use them a lot, it can get quite slow to compute and to scale them or to just generally work with them. So try to use it sparingly. But what they are great for is drawing hair, for example, or fur. So let me just show that to you quickly. Using the same settings that I have here, I'm just going to draw quickly a few strokes. And as you can see, this could be the base or the, the foundation of hair, someone's hair, but it could also be a monster, <laughs> a furry monster. And I actually created the face already here. Let me just put it on top of it and bring it forward. There you go. Of course, these brushes have their settings as well. So if I double click on it, I will find a lot of options that I can play with. And these are all the different types of shape presets from which you can choose. Make sure you spend some time experimenting with this category as well, especially if you have a tablet but don't ignore them even if you just have a mouse because you can still use it. You might not be able to make use of all its settings, but they are still great fun to work with. Personally, I work with bristle brushes quite less, but I'm going to show you my favorite category in the next video called pattern brushes.